temperature of the ocean water. Temperature is one of the important physical properties of ocean water. Other physical properties of ocean water like density and salinity as well as its movement are influenced by its temperature. The life in the ocean also depends on it. The heat obtained from the sun is the prime source of ocean water temperature. The temperature of the ocean water surface which is popularly known as sea surface temperature or SST is not the same everywhere. A number of factors are responsible for this. The two main factors among these are the solar energy received at different latitudes and the ocean currents. Now let us see the distribution of ocean water temperature. Distribution of ocean water temperature The distribution of ocean water temperature is normally explained in the two following ways. Horizontal distribution the temperature of ocean water surface varies according to the latitude. This distribution is called horizontal distribution. Have a good look at this map. The mean annual temperature of ocean water surface is shown on this map. It is maximum in the equatorial region which is around 30 degrees centigrade. It decreases in the poleward direction. It is 15 degrees centigrade to 20 degrees centigrade between 30 degrees and 40 degrees latitudes in both the hemispheres. In the region between 50 degrees and 60 degrees latitude, the temperature is around 8 degrees centigrade. In the polar region, the temperature is below the freezing point. As the water turns into ice and as ice is lighter than water, one finds ice on the ocean surface and water below in the polar areas. Now let us see the vertical distribution. Vertical distribution. Ocean water temperature varies from the surface to the flow of the ocean. The intensity of solar energy that penetrates the water decreases with increasing depth. As a result, the temperature also decreases with depth. It is around 15 degrees centigrade at a depth of 200 meters. Towards greater depths, the temperature of ocean water in equatorial as well as polar regions is the same. It is around 2 degrees centigrade. Even in the ocean deeps and trenches, it is 2 degrees centigrade. This is because the density of ocean water is the highest at this temperature and hence it always remains at the base. Now let us move on to the second part of the chapter that explains why ocean water is salty. Salinity of ocean water. The water that is emptied into the oceans by rivers contains different types of salts. The evaporation of water leads to a concentration of salts. That is why ocean water is saline. Different animals consume carbonates whereas silicates are absorbed by plants. As a result, there is a concentration of chlorides and sulfates in ocean water. Amongst this, sodium chloride or common salt has the maximum proportion. The salinity of ocean water is determined as the proportion of salts per thousand units of water by weight. It is expressed as parts per thousand and is denoted by this symbol. The average salinity of ocean water is 35 per thousand. It is written as 35 per thousand. Factors influencing salinity the salinity of ocean waters is not the same everywhere. It varies from place to place. Factors like the rate of evaporation, rainfall, supply of fresh water through rivers, supply of melt waters, etc. influence the salinity of ocean water. Moreover, the supply of fresh water 
is quite limited. Find how the solar energy that causes evaporation and the supply of water influence the salinity of ocean water from this table. First, let us see the salinity of open oceans. In the equatorial region, the solar energy received is high. The rainfall is perennial. The supply of fresh water by the rivers is high and the mean salinity is 34 per thousand. In the tropical region, the solar energy received is medium, the rainfall is seasonal, the supply of fresh water by the rivers is low and the mean salinity is 37 per thousand. In the temperate region, the solar energy received is low, the rainfall is seasonal, the supply of fresh water by the rivers is medium and the mean salinity is 33 per thousand. In the polar region, the solar energy received is very low, the rainfall is seasonal, the supply of fresh water by the rivers is low and by the melt water it is high and the mean salinity is 31 per thousand. Now let us see the salinity of landlocked or partially enclosed seas. In the Mediterranean Sea, the solar energy received is high, the rainfall is low, the supply of fresh water by the rivers is low and the mean salinity is 39 per thousand. In the Red Sea, the solar energy received is high, the rainfall is low, the supply of fresh water by the rivers is very low and the mean salinity is 41 per thousand. In the Baltic Sea, the solar energy received is low, the rainfall is medium, the supply of fresh water by the rivers is medium and the mean salinity is 7 per thousand. In the Dead Sea, the solar energy received is high, the rainfall is very low, the supply of fresh water by the rivers is very low and the mean salinity is 332 per thousand. In the Caspian Sea, the solar energy received is medium, the rainfall is low, the supply of fresh water by the rivers is low and the mean salinity is 155 per thousand. In the Great Salt Lake, the solar energy received is medium, the rainfall is low, the supply of fresh water by the rivers is low and the mean salinity is 220 per thousand. With this, we come to the final part of this chapter which deals with the distribution of salinity. Distribution of salinity The distribution of salinity is shown on a map with the help of isolines. These lines joining places of equal salinity on a map are called isohalines.